What's up, YouTube? Dax the Leader here, back with CPL Miners Season 1 Week number 8, this time taking on Bloodcrawler and his Leuven Larvitars. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Never bothered to ask. Um, and yeah, I've never taken on Bloodcrawler before. He's, uh, I only met him recently. He did well in the tryout tour. Yeah, not a ton else to say, but I've, I've known of him for a while. He's been pretty active as of late in the PUL, which is a league that I was in with Zombie that I mentioned in my video, the other one <laughs> uh, from last week, um, as well as being friends with Eric. Uh, I know he's in that front office there, Eric, Metal Poker Man. Anyway. <laughs> Let's talk about his team. He's got an interesting one right here, and a very scary one for me in particular. He's got the Mew Z Mew, which has access to uh, Genesis Supernova in this league, unlike a lot of other leagues. There's the Tornadus T, Ferrothorn, Raikou, Incineroar, Aromatis, Toxicroak, another Zemon, Mega Swampert, Pelipper. Nidoking, Lycanroc, Dusk, and Gudra. So you can see that he does have that rain core, plus a bunch of other scary stuff, like the Torn T and the Raikou, which have uh, attacks that become 100% accurate in the rain, as well as Ferrothorn, which has its biggest weakness in fire nerfed, and Pokemon such as Toxicroak and Gudra, aside from the obvious Mega Swampert, that have abilities that are benefited by the presence of rain. So, that being said, let's go over our team that we're bringing against the Bloodcrawler this week. Uh, let's start from this side. We've got Amelie, the Araquanid, Liquidation Return, Leech Life, and Toxic. This is a choice banded Araquanid, which uh, in the rain, two hit KOs uh, certain variants of Gudra, which is pretty crazy. Um, as well as doing over 25% to Ferrothorn, I think. I, th I think that's guaranteed, actually. I could be wrong. I'll calculate in the game if it comes to that. But yeah, um, this thing is so incredibly strong, especially with the rain up. I think I think when I did my mock and I got that those damage values, I wasn't even in the rain. So yeah, this is pretty insane right here. Uh, the next mon to support this here, the reason I have this, uh, that should be zero. Zero speed and minus speed nature, we've got the Trick Room Cresselia, so in Trick Room, nothing outslows my Araquanid, I believe. Double checking that now. Uh, maybe the Aromatisse, but I doubt it. What's my speed? 42? Oh, maybe the Aromatisse does outslow me. Anyway. Crest, Trick Room, Psyshock, Hidden Power, Fire, and Lunar Dance with the Eye of Papa Berry. So, you know, standard Crest, Max Fizz Def, because I, like I said, I don't need any speed. And yeah, Hidden Power, Fire is just there for the Ferrothorn, and we finally have Lunar Dance to bring something back up that has been, say, status or is just low. So we can get back in any of our offensive mons. Which is pretty much the rest of the team, except Skarmory here. Skarmory is my designated Swampert check, because I know that thing is coming. Um, this checks any kind of physical Swampert. Stealth Rock, Roost, Toxic, and Defog. I'm um, not exactly hazard stacking this week. I'm just here to get up rocks and defog them away. As well as uh, Toxic here to prevent like a setup kind of Swampert with Curse from uh, wrecking me here. And that's Skarmory. Next, let's start with our offensive mons off with the Weavile right here, Knock Off Icicle Crash and Low Kick, pretty spammable. Um, generally, just my dual stab is pretty nice. He's got a lot of resists to it, but um, I do think, because I've mentioned many a time that I am weak to offensive fairies, I'm somewhat expecting a nasty plot of Aromatisse. So if I can just lure it in and taunt it, knock it off, just limit its uh, its effectiveness here, then that'd be nice. I think it, actually it's ice. Uh, both his water types don't resist ice, so ice is pretty spammable here. Low kick is for Ferrothorn mostly. Uh, another breaker we have is the Swords Dance 
uh, close combat, X scissor, that, yeah, Zen Handbot, Gallade, X scissor for the Mew. He's most likely going to run Colber, so we decided to go with Z with, with bug type coverage. I don't know where, where our head is at today. Um, bug type coverage to hit that Mew. So this is just a really nice breaker. He doesn't have a ton of resists. Uh, he doesn't have a dark type, so it's like similar situation with um, why Cress is just Psyshock, HP Fire, so Gallade kind of goes in. And finally, we have um, a Spadef Jolteon because I'm super weak to a Calm Mind Raikou. Not even Spadef, just like a lot of HP investment. It is my Tornado switch in as well as my Raikou switch in, so that's what that's for. HP Grass for the Swamp Bird and Roar for the CM Raikou. All right, that was a that was a hell of a team builder. Let's uh, let's accept the challenge from Bloodcrawler. Get into this thing. All right then. So as we can see, uh, Bloodcrawler has opted to bring the Needle Queen, Needle King, Mew, Torn, Raikou, Gudra, and Aromatisse. So neither of his water types. That's kind of good. Um, it does mean that I think Skarmory's usefulness is quite limited here. I'll just be like getting up rocks, maybe throwing off some Toxics. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, that's about it. Nido King is interesting. I don't love switching into that. I did Calc, um, Crest though, and I can live like pretty much anything. Like, I can take any special hit, even with Fizz Death. What I didn't calc is Megahorn. And I'm realizing that now, this Nidoking King could very well have Megahorn. Which makes me fear... Like, I would lead with Jolteon, right? But if he does lead with that Nidoking, King, can I switch in Crest comfortably? I guess let's find out. Attacker, but let's say your max attack. New King has 85 speed. So, would he need Jolly for anything? That's what I'm wondering here. I'll count like Adamant anyway. I built this team a while ago. I should have like looked over it a little bit more. But anyway. Adamant right on. Ugh, that's uh it is a guaranteed KO after Stealth Rock without Stealth Rock. It's a high chance to do a KO. How much do I do back to him? I, I guaranteed he would go ahead. KO him, so if he, if he doesn't get the roll, then I trade my crest for the Nido King, which is like not great, but I mean, that that's just it right there. I could lead a Raquinid just to get a big hit off. He won't risk that. Right? Yeah, I think that's what I have to do. The only things that scare me out with my Raquinid are the Raikou and the Torin because I have, and I have a great switch in Jolteon, so I'm gonna leave with a Raikou. Great. Okay, that's exactly what I thought. Now I'm max HP. Let's hope he can't just kill me with a Stone Edge. I don't think he can. Uh, Stone Edge versus my uh, Raikou. Ooh, that's close, but it can't without a crit. So yeah, I just threw off a liquidation here. I kind of hope he does the end, because this is the, this is looking like the biggest threat to my team. Weavile actually goes in, I'm realizing. Don't be sash. 
That's annoying. I'm annoyed. Uh, but like I said, I don't want to switch in versus this. Well, you know what? Now that I know it's not Life Orb, Cress will never be too KO'd, I don't think. But still. How often am I gonna am I gonna be able to get this thing in? I can always lunar dance it back up, right? What would you go for here, right? Thunderbolt, Sludge Wave, or Stone Edge. Yeah, I don't think I ever switch out versus this. Either he stays in, okay, get some toxic back up, and this is dead, I can just defog, whatever. And that should be like your hazard setter gone. What I I just I I'm scared now that the rest of his team is going to be able to force out my Skarmory. Because I did see an offensive Mew in the box. Tornadus comes out. This is not Z. I am wondering if I can just claim a kill here, but I feel it's probably not worth it. I have a good switch in in Jolteon. And now he has no electric immunity. I'll calc it anyway. Just... I'll calc it anyway. Tony. Would you be like, Specs? Why? I don't think you would. Oh, you offensive Z-move without the Z-move, right? There's 87. So if it's not Z, it's probably like Life Orb. And that can kill, yeah, I'm not staying in. Always go Jolteon here. When am I gonna get this defog off? Because that's important. Oh god, that's not good at all. That's awful. That legit might have just lost me the game because now I have nothing for Raikou. If that's a combined Raikou, it's over. I don't usually get this down, but like. That's really big. I mean, I totally deserve it after all the hacks I've been getting week to week, but geez. Um, yeah, I just have to pressure the right. No, nothing else. I mean, only the roof I let speeds. So, I guess. No, Jolteon's dead, so if I Thunderbolt, I die to Poison, if I Volt Switch, I die to Hazards. Unless I get a Defog off and I have one more turn. But when am I going to switch into this, right? Ah. I guess I Volt Switch, just Calc it. I can preserve this as a sack, might as well. Um, do I try to get a defog off here? I don't want to have to worry about this dude. Like, if Skarmory goes down here, I have Weavile. Weavile, like, kind of picks up a kill after. Although I would like to get up rocks. So, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna do it. Don't want to get anything else poisoned. Defog here. He did, like, trade his Nido King for not much, really. If he didn't get the crit, it would have been, like, for not even a full Mon, right? He never got an attack off. So. Okay, let's call that justice, I guess. So that's good information. Um... Now I definitely can like just I can properly save Jolteon for a sack later on. So because he doesn't have because he has Fire Blast, I feel like he doesn't have Thunderbolt. In which case I kind of want to just go Arak on it. Alternatively, I have Volt Absorb on this, right? No, no, he's gonna Fire Blast again.
so I will go rack on it. Yeah. Unless... What does he do if he predicts that, right? Maybe he predicts my switch to be crest? Let's find out. There's no way this thing can do anything that crazy to my Rackman. Yeah, it's gonna be nothing. That's a crit, dude. <laughs> I did 20%. Okay, um, now Liquidation comes out and nothing takes it. Cool, fun mod. Wish I had rocks up. This might Oko. Clean. Okay, you know what? Jolteon getting crit, not that big a deal. That's, that's really good. Gudra, you think you can take a hit? I can, I can probably just kill this dude. I think a Rockwind's already put in like the work it needs to, so I'm just gonna... Okay, it does... Keeps on crit. It does have the, uh, the T-Bull. So... What do you do here? <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do, actually? Is I'm gonna go for game. I'm gonna go into Crest, and I'm gonna, like... I'm just gonna trick him up in Lunar Dance because I think I might have just. Huh. Unless this has Trick Room. Its lowest possible speed is 56. My speed is 80. Okay, so this thing could be slower than me. What are you trying to do here? I know one thing in that this can't kill my Raconid from full, unless it like nasty plots or something. So part of me just, I, I can't, <sighs> all right, if, if, if this is Trick Room and it goes for Trick Room, Then if this is Trick Room and it grows for Trick Room and I go for Trick Room, then that's that's bad. Because then you can just set up on me. I think this thing does get up to plus two no matter what. And I think it is a setup variant because I know Bloodcrawler watches my videos, and I've mentioned so many times about the whole offensive fairy thing. So I think I should... <sighs> if he sets up, he sets up, right? Let me see if, like, Araquanid can kill, like, a fully fizz def this thing. Uh. A new offensive trigger, how about that? Yeah, yeah, this pretty much kills if you're like max HP. So max defense. I'm doing 79 now. Could use some chip on this. Go back to the quiet nature and keep your plus two. What kind of damage are you doing? 76 to a Rackman. Okay, let's find out if it's Trick Room. And I'll just try kind of chip it here. Okay. Okay. Um... Uh... 
I'm just trying to think here if, like, I don't take a hit once I Lunar Dance, right? Happens at the end of the turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. So, I will Trick Room, then Lunar Dance, and then claim another kill, basically. Unless that Aromatase, like I said, is Trick Room of its own. So, Trick Room, Lunar Dance. Oh, crap. It said it happened. That's stupid. I'm debating going to Jolteon now. I thought when it said happened at the end of the turn, they meant it had negative priority. Shit, alright. Yeah, because Raccoon, I don't want Raccoon to take a hit. Wait a minute. Oh my god, dude, I'm so confused. So it just cancels that turn? I don't think I could have. I thought it would just explain properly on the move, man. I totally would have gone around. Oh my god, that's, that's fucked. I'm actually really mad about that. So what? Now this is faster, so we can U turn or whatever. I'll just I'll just get a sword bolt, bolt switch off. Great, and calc the damage on this. That did seventy. Araquanid does what? Min seventy nine, I think. Min seventy. Okay, yeah. So Araquanid's gonna kill. Good. And I have two turns. Uh oh, that's seventy six now. Uh-oh. Now, let's see. Unless this actually does end up being slower. Man, I hope not. Like, I, I don't really mind the what. Gudra's at 16% and Araquan had already killed two mons. Like, it, it, it did the work it had to do, alright? And then Weavile is still a massive threat here. I still have full health Gallade. So, like... It's not the end of the world, I'm just upset that I, I wish I could have made those plays in better confidence knowing how the move fucking worked. Stalls at one turn, not a big deal. Now I think you're for sure out of range or I need a max roll. No, you're not for sure out of range. Out of here. That was a pretty high roll. Um. <laughs> so I'll stay in. Yeah, because if you like U turn or something, then. If you miss a hurricane, I kill this. Um. But if you U-turn, I get momentum. Yeah, good, good, good. Good play on your part. I can Volt Switch here. And I think Weavile just wins. Weavile or Gallade. Was that also a crit? It, it was. <laughs> crit City. Alright. Um, that feels like it didn't do a lot. Then again, I don't have a ton of special attack on Jolteon. Let me count this. Yeah. Jolteon. Yeah. 23 to 27 to like 240 HP. That did 24. Okay. So this is probably like a bulky. bulky something. Um. I do need Weavile, actually, so... Or do I? Yeah, I don't want to get burned or anything. I know, I'm gonna Toxic first. I think this is just the safest way to win. I 
know if it's the best. Oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh well, hold on. Why, uh, first of all, I don't, know, I don't even know why he, I, I'm not sure what his set is now, but that's bad. <laughs> Does that mean he's not Culverberry? That's kind of what I'm hoping for. How much special attack is that? This game is garbage, man. Uh, 23 to 27 on the Ice Beam, it's doing 29. So like, if your max special attack, is that a possible? Okay, so you're not max special attack. It's just like... Huh. 29, 29, you got the exact same roll. And I'm at 29% here. I still want a toxic, I'm gonna just... Okay, good, good, good. Uh, no. No, didn't get it, come on. Yes, yes, yeah, no, oh well. I tried. Whatever. At least I, I guess I die here. Now, the good thing is that I can get Gallade in. And then at least set up an SD. Which is what I'll do. I'll deny the burn, basically. And I'm thinking he's not that offensive. Psychic, 68. Easy. So no will is Alright. Yeah. I claim one right here. Or like, at least I'll probably kill this. Not quite. That's fine. That's fine. Alright, so provided Weavile doesn't miss Iso Crashes, I'm pretty sure this game is at an end. Because I'll switch out on the Torn. Then I'll Volt switch on the Gudra. And then just knock out Bicycle Crash. But like. Yeah, yeah. No, I won. Because even. Yeah, yeah. I possibly could have had a higher differential here, but. I, I think I did win. I don't think I. Like, I think what it's going to come down to is like. Even. I have ways of winning. Even if I miss the ice cream crash at this point, is what I'm trying to say. Can I avoid it altogether? Will I risk the icicle crashes? Probably. Eh, maybe not. Hold on. This is a physical tornado. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna throw the bullet here. Gudra, she'll probably die to two. Or just one, great, and then tornado dies here. Great, alright. Whew, 3 0 win. That was that was scary, dude. Okay, yeah, that's a fun shot. Great, GG Bloodcrawler, nice and short one, uh, but intense nonetheless. And we're sitting at seven and one. That's 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 pretty pog, dude. Uh, and beating the uh, beating the second place seed in the league is great. I also found out from Cameron the other day that I have to win. Um, three out of my four remaining games, so this is one of them, assuming that everyone else wins out. So now I think because Bloodcrawler just lost, this becomes a lot easier. So yeah, this is a great game for me to win. This was possibly my most important game of the season, based on just standings and whatnot. And I do think we're still in first place guaranteed now. So uh, yeah. Leave a like if you enjoyed that, and even uh, even if you didn't, please, <laughs> whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm happy we took that one. I was I was genuinely scared for a while, and yeah, let's see how we do with the rest of the season. So, please be sure to 
retweet, leave a like, and maybe even subscribe. But until next time, later guys.